This video will discuss the custom-built, fully electric, solar-powered VW buses that we build here at Solarola. The napkin, the birthplace of many creative ideas. Computer-aided design is the ultimate napkin. The Solarola Napkin Series will discuss the engineering behind projects in various levels of completion. From concept sketches to current builds, projects already delivered to clients, and even off-grid projects on the Solarola property. Welcome to the Napkin Series. Solarola began with a golf cart. So when my son, Lyric, was being born, I had just finished building the first Solarola vehicle, which was an old um, Cushman golf cart with um, about 200 watts of solar on it and some gel cells in it. And yeah, it turned out to be an amazing vehicle and got the ball rolling. And the next vehicle was then something that we could um, drive on the street. So that was the big shift there. Get it out on the highway, get it out on the street. And that vehicle turned out to be the VW bus for a variety of reasons. Um, the VW bus is, you know, a classic vehicle. Um, the ability to camp out inside them are really nice. It's a pretty lightweight vehicle for how large it is. It had a classically weak motor and the electric motor bolts right up to the VW transaxle. So really easy to put an electric motor in little 100 pound motor replaces the, the gas guzzling um, spark spurting uh, motor that everybody knows, which had about 30 horse, needless to say, with the electric motor producing 100, not quite enough to blow the transaxle all over the road, but enough to have the vehicle performing quite a bit better. So also with the surface area of the VW bus, we have a place for solar panels. So another important part of the uh, creation is that is that top. Now, if you remember, a lot of the VW buses have tilting tops and, and uh, opening moon roofs and things of that nature. So um, we kind of continued that trend by putting on our first VW bus a big tilt up solar panel, which of course gives the solar panel an ability to be in the sun all day and make way more power. And provide a nice living space underneath. So pretty excited to um, get into it. Um, our first bus, the blue one that you see, um, had lead acid batteries in its first incarnation. So pretty intense, 12 T1275 LEDs in that thing. So you might have seen the uh, solar electric VW bus video out there, has a few million views by now. And that was a view that Dylan uh, Megaster made years ago. So check that out. 30 to 35 miles of range. So yeah, going really slow even to get that, sometimes 40 miles. But you know, it had 1200 watts of solar. It had an inverter for power out. Um, you had the tent for sleeping. So even though traveling was slow, it was a really fun um, little tiny home on wheels that we enjoyed so much with our, with our two kids. And that um, and the videos that Kira made of that bus and that journey was what uh, Redfoo saw online and decided that he wanted to try out a solar-powered VW bus. So we went for it and built what uh, Kira and I consider pretty much our best build. It was just a really nice donor vehicle to start with, and um, we put three kilowatts of solar. So our original bus had about 1200 watts of solar. Um, Red Foos had three kilowatts. So it had, you know, one kilowatt up top, nice curved flexible panels with the frame. And it had awnings that came out the side. So that bus could charge its 90 miles of range just about full in one day. So a day and a little bit, and you had yourself a full tank. So pretty cool there. Um, also, just a really nice interior that Kira did on that bus. And everything was just pretty dialed in. So the Net Gain Hyper 9 
higher voltage unit, it's 144 volt nominal unit, will go up to 180. A really nice little solid motor. I think it weighs 100 pounds or 110 pounds, so crazy amount of power there. And there's an adapter plate. Um, this one in particular made through EV West, a really nice uh, billet aluminum spun adapter plate. So check out how that all goes together. Um, it is truly amazing. I mean, you're talking about a bolt-on situation for this electric motor to a VW bus. So really, really pretty straightforward and a real nice uh, clean fit when you're done. But as I said, a little more range, three times the solar, basically three times the range, three times the solar. We used uh, Tesla Model S modules in that build. So they are the 444 cells of 18650s. So um, I think Tony has a little animation there for you, show you how those are put together. It really helps with these animations to be able to understand um, the meaning behind the words. So, unfortunately, Redfoo's bus, after a year of him enjoying it, was struck by an oak tree. A real bummer. The front of it got crushed. The, the insurance company totaled it out. I was visiting at the time. My car was also crushed and totaled. Um, quite an adventure. Anyway, through all the sadness um, came the desire for a e-star so the e-star we just finished for red food but we're talking vw mm -hmm. buses here so let's stick with that we did buy the remaining bus from the insurance company and the top was largely um was largely spared it wasn't damaged the top although it did get bumped it can be um, straightened so the new bus or should i call it the ultimate bus is going to be a conglomeration of our original blue VW bus and Red Foo's um, tent bus. So with the three kilowatts of solar on top of the original bus, we'll have basically Red Foo's with more range. We'll have Red Foo's motor, which is a little bit more powerful. So the Hyper 9 is um, runs about 120 horse, so it'll handle about 180 volts at about 500 amps, whereas the, um, the HP EV that we had previously in our blue bus was a little less power. So I think they quoted that one at about 90 horse, so 144 at volts at 500 amps. So that's going to be an upgrade, a little bit more power, and um, I just I like the motor a little bit better. Um, and the software a little bit better. And then, of course, with a new battery pack, which will exceed what Redfoo had and will exceed what we have, whatever we ever had in, the, in our original VW bus. Uh, take a look, you can see Tony's rendition here of the, the modules, the pouch cells that we have put together um, that we're gonna maybe be using in this bus. We're not sure either 100 or 150 mile pack. So we're still trying to consider if we want to add the 150 mile pack is about right around 900 pounds. So that could get kind of heavy. You know, this, the uh, 100 mile pack would be about 600 pounds, which is a little bit more uh, doable as far as is what the VW bus suspension and everything was, was made to handle. We are thinking about maybe moving this bus on. So we'll probably put our own battery pack in, but save the possibility of customizing whatever someone uh, that may be interested in the vehicle should want and we could go ahead and build them a brand new pack 
in the meantime, we want to get on the road, so we're going to just throw a, um, a pack of our own in. Stay tuned as we get this bus back on the road. Thank you.